because you always have that person who comes in and says, oh my God, you don't have any clothes. It's summertime. You know, people wear strapless. We wear hoop tops. We wear halter tops. And that's what I'm wearing right now. So anyway, welcome. If you watch this in the replay, hey, I know I'm looking a little crazy right now because I was a little sweaty. Ugh. But it's get cooling off in the room. And I'm using this fabulous fan that I got from my cousin. Is this not the most gorgeous fan? I love a good fan. You know, when you get older, you 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 love a fan. It's so funny because like I want to say about seven, eight years ago, because I've always loved a good fan. <clears throat> People were, hey, <laughs> I can't stand you, D'Angelo. No, I ain't got I have nothing on, but you try to see it. Because have you ever like watched something and then you kind of lean in trying to see it, right? You're trying to see it. You're like, are they like, and then you think like if you lean, you're going to be able to see down. No. So anyway, I is naked. I is naked. So anyway, I am doing this because I was too lazy to film and I needed to get something out. Hey, Jerry. Right. Well, listen, I'm in my house. Just as long as I don't stand up and then y'all see, you know, full, well, y'all seen my nipples in my damn t-shirt before. But anyway, if y'all don't see a whole bunch of nipples, we all right. So anyway, whew. So anyway, this is, it is a beautiful fan. So I, so I've always carried fans when I went out, even when I was young and was partying, I would have a fan, right? And I would flip that fan out. Now this one, I can't flip. Hey, Courtney. Hey, Sarah. Listen, I was the queen of, I'd be out and I would flip a fan and I'd be in the party and it's getting nice and sweaty and I'd be like, and people used to always be like, damn, she got a fan. Okay, but who's the one cool in here, y'all? Y'all die. Hi, BB, how are you? Right, I got a towel on. So let me just, I have on a dress. It's summertime. I'm wearing a summer dress. <laughs> All right. So today, this is going to be a, I'm going to, okay, so here we go. Let me say it every, right. Hi, Faith. Um, this is going to be a quicker live. And later, I'm going to come on later on so we can have a little late night chat, just chit chat and be ignorant as we want to be, because I'm going to treat this as a live video. So it's, um, see, that's what I'm saying. You should be naked too with me, Toria. How are you feeling, Faith? Um. So I'm going to do this as that. So we're not going, you know, I'm not going to linger or anything. And then, well, I am going to linger a little bit, but <laughs> I'm going to try to keep it kind of tight for me. And then we'll come back later on and have late night chat. So late night chat will be late night chat. And I'm going, you know what? And I don't even give a fuck no more. I'm going to have late night adult chat. Hi, Kaylani Palacios. You are new. I've never seen you before. So now I've already done my unique affordable fragrances. Um, I've done those. We, we did a whole video on those. So now this is unique niche perfumes for the summertime. So this is unique niche summer perfumes. Let me say it right. Unique niche summer perfumes. Now, these are awesome things that I wanted to share because, you know, just ain't hearing about all these because you know they ain't on the hype train like that dumbass Kelly I bought. Did y'all see how stupid the whole hype train? Hi, Shawmaker. The sh the I was on that hype train and I knew I shouldn't have got on it. I could have got something better. I could have got something different and better. So anyway, let's get started. We're gonna have some florals. We're gonna have some kind of fruity stuff. Uh, oh, until October, damn. Um, we're gonna do some florals, a few greens, some fruity ones. Hey, Rachel. And yes, I know, I know, but I ain't got no Zara money now. So, um, and I'm, and I might even stay off that hype train. Cause it ain't like I don't have enough rolls in my freaking life. Don't forget to say hit the likes on your before y'all leave. I'm just telling y'all that now. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start right here. This is Erin Beauty's 
water lily sun let me put down my thing for a minute so this is water lily sun this is a green fragrance this is a floral green it's got green and bergamot in it hi anisha um water lily and jasmine and then it has musk in it so this is a very very dainty light fragrance um right <laughs> Um, so it's a very late, like dainty fragrance, right? Very, um, very watery. It's a water lily. It's floral. It's green. It's got a little, you know, watery aquatic notes to it. Really a beautiful fragrance, especially for like just wanting to have this like pretty dainty vibe, dainty vibe. Like, I, and I found out because at first, of course, when I, um, and you didn't let me know, Lala. Okay, so you didn't want to meet me. So anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, it's very good for like every day. It's not threat, you know. It's not. It's not offensive. It's just a really gorgeous, pretty, dainty fragrance that I would wear like going to a picnic, you know, things like that. So yeah, you know, you just didn't want to meet me. Okay. So that is Aaron's Water Lily Sun. Um, it's a very. It's an Eau de Parfum. Um, I didn't see that. I did not because I would have, you could have reached out to me. Send me a me message. Um, yeah, so this is just a really pretty floral that everybody's not wearing. So it does have that very green, watery, aquatic vibe. So that's Water Lily Sun. Now, if you can find this, you need to get it at a good price, though. Because, you know, folks be losing their damn mind when shit gets discontinued. This is Victor and Roth's Sage Spell. What the hell is that showing? Oh, right there sage spell so this is an aromat aromatic so this is very aromatic it's got um grapefruit which i normally don't like so it has a little grapefruit in it it has a little um pink pepper some sage and spicy mint as opposed to regular mint spicy mint um you know and wormwood and patchouli this is now i don't like aromatics um <laughs> okay yeah i don't like usually like aromatics or like kind of more masculine smelling this is good the grapefruit doesn't go sour on me it's just a really nice um you know fresh green fragrance that you could just throw on I actually do wear it, you know. I be, now this is one that you gotta overspray because it does not last that long. But honestly, since I didn't pay full price for it, I'm okay with that. Since I got it for half price, I'm okay with that. Yeah, and this is like something that I pull out in the summertime to wear. So if you can find Sage Spill at a decent price, go ahead and get it. If it's too much, though, don't be paying them overpriced bullshit because it's discontinued but it is gorgeous if you can find it so that is sage spell next up is this oh man i love this right here right here this is jasmine de o um this is the one of this is the newer um mason lancomes and if you don't know mason lancome is discontinuing quite a few things hold on let's let's not have this look okay there we go oh that's also that's you know what that is that's because i put on some sparkly shit and i ain't used to it this ain't sweat y'all this is like <laughs> that's like me with my little sparkly body shimmery body oil okay so anyway this is jasmine doe and this has jasmine jasmine tea white peach bergamot and plum blossom i y'all know i'm getting into these tea fragrances this is such a gorgeous beautiful jasmine tea this is right i'm glistening baby this is so pretty it has it has jasmine but it is definitely a jasmine tea in here and so it's it takes uh hi pamela um it is it takes the jasmine and lightens it up like i cat jasmine does by aaron it lightens it up it just makes it so fresh and so pretty for summertime this is definitely a summertime jasmine it's green it's tea like it's beautiful it is gorgeous so jasmine de o by lanco welcome pamela from australia come on in hang out so that's jasmine o 
who else came in uh sandra hey sandra next up is this and i've been loving this this is claire de musk by serge luton hi bashan now this is my perfect musk it is it is exactly what it says it is a clear you know white kind of musk because it's got musk iris neroli and bergamot that's all it's only got four notes but it wears so pretty and it's just like one of those very um good to work wear office wear um and you smell clean and fresh but you don't smell like everybody else you know serge come serge come with a little difference so this is like this clean fresh not quite musky with a slight powderiness but i love this this is a uh, claire de musk very beautiful very beautiful i need a bigger bottle so we got that one then next up is la verge the verge de fer this is lily hi hey coco this is lily pear metallic notes incense and sandalwood now the one thing you can you can expect from Mr. Christopher Shell Drake and Serge is that it's going to be some really interesting notes that are going to be like what? So it has the juiciness of pear, but it's got this metallic kind of like coldness to it, which is quite refreshing on the skin. So it's really pretty. It's got the florals from the lily, but really what I get is the juicy metallic of it with that. Ooh, and it just it smells like. It, this is one of those expensive hotel soaps, but it's just so pretty. Um, oh, thank you, Pamela. Girl, you you gonna get a kiss in Australia. Um, yeah, so it's going to, it's just a beautiful, just juicy pear, but cold with this little metallic vibe. Slightly soapy, but it's soapy in a good way. So that's this one. Hey, yummy. Hey, kids. So this is La Verge de Fer. And just remember, niche doesn't mean you got to be spending a lot of money because trust me, these were so inexpensive. These were so inexpensive, y'all. That it was so inexpensive. Let me go on down here. See how I'm trying to be like on point? See how I'm trying to be on point with y'all? Trying to be all. All right, so next up is this. Here we go. Here we go. This is. Hoobagons Oranges in Fleur. This is an orange blossom, obviously. If you've been around, you know I love Fleur d'Orange by Serge Luton. So it's like, why do you have this one? This is slightly different. Where Serge's, Serge Luton's is more sweet, almost honey-like. It's almost got a syrupy vibe to it. This is more floral. So this one has in it orange blossom, uh, Hey, Drea. Orange blossom, jasmine, and Turkish rose with some tuberose, lang lang, and nutmeg. And then the base notes are musk and cedar. So this is floral. This is floral with a little bit of spice to it. That's what that nutmeg is. It kind of, you know, balances out all that floral and gives you a beautiful, beautiful orange, or white floral. That's very orange blossom centric. Oh, I sounded like I knew some shit right there, right? Um, yeah, so hi, Miss Rush Nugent. You are new. Welcome. Yeah, so this is Oranges and Floor by Hoobagon. I'm telling y'all, if you like orange blossoms and if you don't have oranges, uh, Fleur de Orange, this is another way. If you want something that's not quite as syrupy sweet, which I love, this is more floral, more white floral, but very orange blossom. So that's that one. Next up is this. This is another surge. Listen, folks, you know, you know I love to find some stuff. Oh, thank y'all. Y'all killing me. <laughs> okay, so this is Serge Luton's Fleur de Citronnaire. This has lemon blossom, pedigree, and nutmeg. It's got neroli, honey, and tuberose, musk, styrax, and iris. OMG, I love this. It is very, the lemon blossom is very prominent. Oh, it smells so good on. Let's just smell a little bit of it. Let's just smell. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. 
it has this kind of the lemon blossom is there so it gives it a lemon a citrusy vibe but not like lemon um <laughs> see that sunset i'm gonna see you no, i'm gonna see not mine okay so it has this lemon blossom the soapiness is coming from the neroli because neroli has the um is bitter has a bitterness to it so that's the part that gives it more of a soapy vibe is the neroli um yeah so orange blossom is very floral whereas the neroli part of it is is the orange but it's bitter orange it's got a little bite to it all right so here we go floors essential there so this has this lemon right <laughs> <laughs> no, I might be seeing somebody. So yeah, this is um it has a lemon burst to it, but it's not citrus, it's more floral. So it's got all these florals going on, and then as it dries down, it gets a little musky. It gets a little musky. Ah it is so pretty. So yeah, this is like mm. And this one, the, the neroli is, you know, with the honey and the tuberose and everything, the neroli isn't quite as bitter as in some other thing. But man, this smells, okay, it almost kind of smells like lemon pledge, but in a good way. I'm just saying, it has a kind of lemon pledgey vibe, but in a good way, y'all, in a good way. In a good way. Right? So this is beautiful love it love it it's one of my more airy more you know this is on the airy side this is the lighter vibes these are brunches you know with friends this is going to picnic or anything or going now going to the beach but not going to the beach to hang out with your kids and your friends this is going to the beach hanging out with somebody cute sexy male or female it don't matter Cause you know I'm equal opportunity on love it on Lulu. I'm just saying. All right, next up is this one. <laughs> this is my favorite rose oud for the summertime. I bust her out every summer. This is Royal Rose Oud by McAuliffe, 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 whatever. Mm. Yes, I love this thing. So this has um, black currant and saffron in the beginning. Then it has rose oud and white musk sandalwood and patchouli. I have one coming, Drea. There's coming. I got one. I just got to finish the voiceover. The voiceover it will be probably tomorrow. So this is my favorite rose oud for the summertime for warm weather. The reason being is because usually rose oud combinations are so strong and so deep and they are not made to be out in the when you know when it's hot outside you hot you hot and you put on some regular rose oud like pro leaks or you know noir de noir or anything like that and you are going to pass the fuck out because you're gonna be just overwhelming yourself with that fragrance and everybody around you you're just gonna be hot you know how some fragrances make you hot this doesn't this is this light airy rose oud it's the must is very light the patchouli is very like a touch of patchouli it's got the, the um, saffron in it so it's a little spicy but not too this is just a really light beautiful rose oud combination the rose is strong enough the oud is good it's not skanky it's just you know this beautiful mild oud that is just perfect for when it gets except for that top is hard as hell to get off to wear when it's nice when it's beautiful outside there's a slight sweetness to it too oh this is perfect if you struggle with food and rose and want to try it see right it's very fresh it's very beautiful it's just a gorgeous fragrance next up is this one this of course is tuberose number one by histoise de parfum i picked this one even though tuberose number two is good too but i talk about that damn thing to death so just know tuberose number two could have been in here too this one is of course this is the one that has the iris in it it has tuberose on every level but in the beginning this smells like an iris the flower it's not powdery it smells very floral it has a very strong iris note in it i don't know why the iris is so strong but in the beginning that's what you're gonna get you're gonna smell this beautiful iris 
and then as it dries down the tuberose becomes the star but it also has some suede in it and some, some cacao so there's a slight dryness to it which helps to balance out all this floral so it's a really real serious floral but the the suede and the cacao gives it a slight dryness makes it a little bit powdery but it does support all of these really strong florals and this is like you're gonna smell like a garden you're gonna but you're gonna smell like uh you're gonna smell like a french garden you know what i'm saying you're not gonna smell like this isn't this oh did i forget to pull something i did i gotta grab something in a second so this doesn't this isn't like your garden that is you know in the in the you know a tropical garden like we think in summertime no this is you know in provence this is very this is very english garden this is very french garden it's very european it has a kind of slight european edge to it now this one everybody's sleeping on i think it's discontinued now oh you did you get rid of iris prima girl iris prima is good this is santal cardamom even though I hate this white ad, this white top, I know they did some ones with white tops. They still are tacky to me on this beautiful ass bottle. But this is Santal Cardamom. Ooh, yeah, I don't give a. This has this is a woody spicy. So this has um, pink pepper, mandarin, orange, bergamot, cardamom, liquor, orange blossom, neroli, and pepper. Then it's got sandalwood, vanilla, leather, amberwood, cashmere, and birch, and patchouli. Hi, Judah. I'm telling y'all, people slept on Santal cardamom. This is such a beautiful sandalwood fragrance. It does have... Mm, right. Don't be giving away stuff. It has... The sandalwood is really beautiful, and it really is like the star because you get that sandalwood. But what you really get are like the spiciness, this juicy orange in it. So you get all this kind of orange from like the orange blossom, the, the mandarin orange. So there's this orangey, sandalwoody, mm, kind of leathery, musky. Oh, this is so good. If you can get your hands on Santal cardamom, I'm telling you, it's worth it. It's very unisex. Um, anybody could wear this. This is one of those chill fragrances. Like if you want that type of person who you want to smell good, like as a woman, let me talk from a woman standpoint. As a woman, you don't want it to be too girly. You don't want to feel like you're wearing this girly ass fragrance. It's all floral, it's all fruity. This is perfect because it just it's right at that unisex. So anybody could wear it. And the Santal, there's enough sweetness in it. There's a little, you know, the, the florals are just, you know, just a little, you know, orange blossom, the rolly. So it's not too, it's not too floral. It's not too, it's not fruity at all. It's got sweetness to it. The vanilla, the, you know, all of this makes it sweet and a slight booziness. I'm telling you, Santal cardamom, this shit is good. It's good, y'all. It's good. All right, next up is this. This is Etat Libre de Ange. This is Dangerous Complicity. This is my pretty fragrance. I love this shit. It makes me feel just so pretty. It's something about it that makes me just feel pretty and like I should just be dancing around, looking gorgeous, right? So this has rum, osmanthus in it, wood, ylang lang, coconut, jasmine sandalwood leather ginger bay leaf patchouli calamus now even though it has other it just kind of comes together to be this kind of very beautiful hi maya maya just this beautiful just girly girl fragrance the rum is there it's got a the rum is very uh all right dangerous complicity this has a, a a slight booziness and the leather gives it a little hard edge but it's so pretty that it's like you this pretty girl but you kind of edgy pretty um I, I just i honestly i just like to wear this when i'm just like you know what I, I need to feel pretty today i need to feel pretty today so i'm gonna slap some of this on i need to feel pretty right now dangerous complicity now the honest to god's truth 
sometimes you you get fragrances and they um just don't the name doesn't jive with it this is one of those because this is called dangerous complicity but it's not that you know this is more girly this is more flirtatious this isn't that you know this for this for it to work for me it, it would have needed to be very deep and rich and like yeah i'm about to get into some bullshit y'all know that bullshit vibe you know the bullshit vibe but it isn't that i promise y'all that's why we're gonna have a late night chat so i can keep you people happy <laughs> Actually, this works really well, Pamela. This uh, this actually lasts on my skin. Um, my skin eats up fragrance. Speaking of eating up fragrance, I got some. Now I'm still going out to get the Johnsons and Johnsons because I need to see which one is the best one. But I got me some baby oil gel. <laughs> I was gonna take a picture and post it on my <laughs> community tab. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, okay. <laughs> Hold on, let me grab something. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll tell y'all, I'm, I'm experimenting. I need to see which one works. That's what I need to see. Which one is the best? Which one makes me diva mode? They keep that shit on me for 12 hours. Okay, let me go back to what I was doing. Gotta have a man Sarah in the niche. This is Oud Orchid. Just got this recently. This one has... <laughs> okay. Um... This one is so freaking beautiful. This has coconut, peach, and mandarin orange. It's got orchid and patchouli. And then it has woody notes, vanilla, white musk, and amber. I've been meaning to get this one for a while. Hey, Veronica. And I kept, it just, I don't know, I just kept forgetting to get it. So I finally got it. Got them closed. And this is so stunning. Oh, my goodness gracious. This one, oh. That coconut and that peach is so beautiful on the beginning. And baby, this is Diva. She's a Diva. She's a Diva. Look, I'm about to sound like Jerry. Two sprays and I was killing myself. For real, for real. Now, man, Sarah, you cannot put on too much to begin with. But this one, I put it on and I was like, damn, this shit is strong. So, yeah, this is Oud Orchid. And it's just a really you know coconutty peachy vibe it is it fruity and but then it's got the floral that orchid is there it's oh this is this is gonna be when I, when i redo my man sarah list because i feel like like i need to do my my man sarah updates again this is going to be high on the list y'all this gonna be high this gonna be high next up is this one this is hayati by atar the Atar collection. First off, I got a really great deal on it. Let me just let me just put that out there. I got a really great deal on this. And that is why I'm staying off the Facebook groups because I was going fucking broke, y'all. I was going broke in them damn Facebook groups, but I was getting a lot of good shit. So it all balanced out. Anyway, this is baby, this is berry fruits, raspberry, and pineapple. It's got whipped cream, honey plum black currant and floral notes then it's <laughs> right i did i got i beat you to the deal baby i was on it i was like oh yeah ice cream vanilla and white musk <gasps> i bought this from a um you can get it on hey crystal you can get it on fragrance x but i got it from somebody who was selling it it was a good deal y'all it was a good deal it was a good okay so anyway this is this now the pineapple is strong but it's this fruity it's like a fruit salad it's a for real fruit salad with a i mean just like a for real fruit salad um yeah this is a fruit salad if you want to smell like a fruit salad it's got a little pineapple in it the plum is very prominent too because i love plum 
So it's very interesting because it's not necessarily tropical, but the pineapple is there. But it's just like this really like fruit salad y smelling vibe. I love it. It smells, I like it. Yeah, it's real good. So that's Hayati by Atar. Now, this one is, of course, this is my 1804 by Hiswaza Parfums. This one has pineapple, peach, tiari flower, nutmeg, cloves, jasmine, rose, and lily of the valley. It's got a little patchouli, vanilla, benzoin, and musk, and sandalwood. Um, this one, I'm telling you, when you first spray this, this does, it's like a juicy pineapple. The um, peach is the, the peach is there, but what happens is it's like a really juicy pineapple. It smells like, yeah, it smells like a really beautiful pineapple. But as it dries down, what happens is you got them cloves and that nutmeg in it. And so it starts to smell like a grilled pineapple. Like this is like, a, you know, like when you cook a pineapple, um, <laughs> right? Um, when you cook a pineapple and it gets like that caramelization, that as it dries down, that's what it smells like. Well, Veronica, you know, I have a whole thing on Hiswaz the Parfum. Um, so if you're looking for some, I have a collection video. So yeah, this, this smells so good. But like I said, it doesn't stay like tropical, even though it does have tropical notes in it, it becomes more of like the stewed pineapple, almost caramelized with the, with those, um, spices in it. And the florals are there, but 1804 is the business. All right, next up, I'm trying, look at me trying to be all righteous, righteous. This is Chua des Anges or Choir of Angels by Atelier des Ors. Oh, this, this has blood orange pear and black currant, osmanthus, carrot seeds and orange blossom, honey, amber, and cedar. Drea, no Neroli. This is so good. I absolutely love it. It has this really juicy, fruity flake um, fragrance to it. It's got that honey. The honey is not so strong that you can't wear it, but it is good. Mm, mm, mm. It is so good. It's a flor it, They call it a floral, but it really is like a floral fruity because that pear and that black currant. Mm, this is so good. So good so good all right next up is this one noir de tuberose by miller harris this has clover violet leaf and green mandarin whatever that is you know i'm gonna look for this note right tuberose mimosa and jasmine sambac tonka bean amber and bourbon vanilla This is expensive hotel soap at its finest. This is expensive hotel soap at its finest. I'm telling you, it's slightly soapy, but in a, in a hotel, in an expensive hotel way, I love it. Um, it's got, you know, it's got the tonk. It does um, dry down. It's got a little sweetness to it. It's a little warm on your skin gets a little warm on your skin but it is so good oh and the mimosa is very strong in it so it's like mimosa and tuberose <laughs> kelly don't mess with me oh man this is good so this is like i said this is the this is the expensive hotel soap at its finest where you just want to smell like this you want to smell and so you know it smells like money it smells like money. It is not, but it should be. I'm gonna talk about the decant list. Remind me, Rachel, before I leave to, to tell y'all something about the decant list too, before I forget. Some of this, you know, but yes, this is, cause I have a few I need to put on there. Then we have this, and these are new and honey, I got these. Okay, so let me tell y'all how to do this. Go into Fragrance Net. Here's what y'all gonna do. Y'all gonna go into Fragrance Net, you're going to go into the, the front page 
where it says gifts, scroll down to there and look at testers. Then when you get to testers, uh, refine, do the sort for new arrivals so you can see all the new testers they get. So anyway, they've been getting really good prices on Montal testers. So this is Daydreams right here. This one is, the interesting thing is, it sort of smelled like it had oud in it, but I guess it doesn't. So what it has in it is orange blossom and mandarin orange. It has tiara flower, jasmine, and neroli. And it's got vanilla, sandalwood, and coconut. This thing is so good. It is a dangerous tip, but it's a good one because when you see something in price, you're going to be like, oh, shit. Because there's a few things I stopped myself from getting because I had a whole bunch of testers that I was trying to buy, but I stopped myself. So, yeah, this is like, mm, it's fruity and got a little floral in it. Oh, my goodness. This smells so good. It just sits on your skin and lingers like a little fruit, um, like, you know, like a little fruity thing. Ooh, okay. This is so beautiful. Oh my God, Daydreams is so good. Yes, I think it is a good blind buy because it has this fruit. The fruitiness is coming from the orange, but what it really is, is like this really sweet floral. It's just really stunning on the skin. And it lasts, of course, it's Montal. It does last. Oh man, this smells so good. So this one is good. Especially when you see how much the tester is. When you see how much the tester is, you're gonna be like, oh okay, yeah, I can get this. I can get I can get it because the tester is awesome. Um, yeah, this is one of those. This is definitely daytime, just kicking it. You wanna smell good, you wanna no, this is not powdery. Mm -mm. It's not powdery on me at all. It's just really beautiful. It's floral. It's got this like sweetness to it, but it's not powdery on my skin. Mm -mm. Honestly, it smells like it has some oud in it. I swear to y'all, I thought it had oud in it because the wood in it um, has like, you know, it has like this kind of almost like delicate oud to it. So I, they say there's not um they say is that there isn't any in it in the notes but i swear it gives off almost like oud amazing that's that's kind of like where i feel like it is but it isn't and it's got that coconut this is a real good fragrance real good fragrance next up is this one this is another one that i picked up this is another pickup uh you're talking about this yep you always know when it is when it's the one because you can't take it out Yep, they got the pen through the atomizer. Then I got pure gold right here. I need to start, and I have not been posting on my IG. I'm, I got to get myself together. We don't have, that's going to be part of our late night talk. Some shit I got to do. Okay, this is pure gold. This is a floral fruity. This is so pretty too. This is apricots and mandarin orange, jasmine, neroli, and orange blossom, musk, patchouli, and vanilla. <laughs> baby i love this one mm, the apricot is so sweet and juicy in this so it's not peachy it's apricotty with orange it's just ooh. i've been i've been wearing shit out of this one i gotta put this on my favorites list too because i try to keep up with my favorites mm. now i'm gonna say this about this one though this one don't last as good as most of my tiles which is quite interesting because usually my towels, you know, you put that shit on, it's going to be on you forever. This does not last that long, but it's really, it's really good. And it's at the price I paid. I don't care. I spray this shit over and over again, but it's floral. It's fruity. I really love the apricot vibe on it. And then you start getting the jasmine and the jasmine is nice and bright and fresh with the orange blossom. Oh, baby, this is good. I like pure, pure gold, pure gold. Now, I got to throw my boy in. Did I throw two of them in? Okay. So, I got to throw my boy in, right? This one is Just Call Me from Coffee Fragrances, right? Now, if you know anything about this, because, of course, some of y'all do, because y'all been with me. 
Of course, it's a coffee fragrance. This is coffee, citron, pink pepper, a night blooming jasmine, amber, plum, red rose, white rose, and rosin. This damn thing is so sexy to me. The plum is very strong in it. The coffee is real subtle in this one, though. Mm, but it's there. It's there. High Fortunata, it's got that coffee because if you know, just so y'all, for the people who don't know, coffee fragrances, almost every one of them has coffee in the notes. This thing is so damn sexy. It's got this plum sweetness in it, and then it's got the amber and the jasmine. Oh, yeah. This one, I love. Yeah, this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm. Of the ones that he sent me recently, this is my, that was two of them. The other one's coming up. These are my favorites. But yeah, Just Call Me is sexy as hell. I'm just letting you know. This is sexy as hell. This is like one of those things you're going to wear date night because the plum and the, you know, the jasmine and the rose, they're very, and then that amber comes up. It's just very provocative and very sexy and sensual. This is definitely for date nights, late you know, nighttime. This ain't for the daytime because you're going to have people following after you do it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This is Nikolai Parfum's Kiss Me Intense. There's something about this that's very sexy and sensual to me. This has bitter almond, anise, and lemon in it. And then it's got heliotrope, lang lang, jasmine, cinnamon, orange blossom, and clove. Vanilla, aquaponics, and musk. I gotta try that. I gotta get aquaponics for us to see what that smell like. This is a very, it's a spicy, <laughs> this is a spicy, slightly floral, a little bit powdery. So it's kind of, pow it's, it's an elegant powdery. So it's not too powdery. Um, this is real sexy on the skin though. I promise you, just listening to the notes it doesn't sound like anything but once it on your skin and it dries down let's just put it on i've been trying not to use it up because i only bought a 30 mil of it and if you want to try the the nicolage you can usually find 30 mils at pretty decent prices yeah it's just something the lemon is there the lemon is sexy as hell so it's lemony and spicy and something about it is very sexy to me on the skin it's it kind of like vibes like your skin scent sexy you know now it, it it doesn't project out a lot it stays close to you but it does last but it's just like this you know very natural sensual this is called kiss me intense it's like a natural sensual as opposed to you know like exotic like, you, you know, all those things. This is just like natural. Like, you know, you don't, you ain't got no makeup on. You're just kind of sitting around. And your lover is like just kind of all over you because you're so sexy at that moment. And, you know, you're not doing anything. It's just very natural. I know y'all are going to want to get that down. Because who don't want natural sexy? All right, next up is this, and this is a beautiful bottle. Y'all know I love this bottle. This is Amouage's Fitment Woman. Mm -hmm. This has pepper in it, gardenia, saffron. It's got lily tuberose, lang lang jasmine, some bourbon in it, orange blossom. Um, right, natural sexy is amazing. Um, papyrus, orris, incense, and patchouli. This is such a hard fragrance. It's an Amouage. So it's a hard fragrance to like describe, but I promise you, everybody who smells this, Faith smelled it when I wore it and I had it with me when we met up. Everybody who smells this loves it. And it's very, it, it's kind of hard to explain. It's got this spicy sweetness to it, but it's really floral. It's just really, it's, it's an homage, but somehow this shit works and it is gorgeous. It's gorgeous on the skin. I promise you, every everybody who smells it loves it, and it's and it's just not, you know, like it's not describable based on other fragrances. It's just figment, and so it starts off in one space, and it it is kind of like figment though, because it starts off in one spot, and it does, and it's not linear, so you know it changes, 
and every piece of it is beautiful so that's figment i got that one on a, uh i got that one on a good deal too so i had to get that one <laughs> next up now i'm gonna tell y'all for real for real jc i talked to him just last night from ganache and coffee coffee is going to be fine um ganache some of this stuff is going to be gone 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 and this might be one of them this might be one I'm trying to tell him to keep it because this is a lot of shit. This is honey. This is a newer one. This has honey extract, honey accord, bubblegum accord, orange blossom, bourbon, hay pan, and tropical flower accord. I'm telling you now. He's talking about discontinuing this. You want to get this. It is a very, this is a sexy honey but it's not too much this is like really good for the summertime because the honey is there but it's not like overwhelmingly sweet syrupy kind of thick honey it's a light honey it's like a drizzle of honey in this fragrance but it's got all these beautiful florals and then it's got this you know kind of boozy vibe to it and a little sweetness oh this thing is so good I about to take it off because if he discontinue it, uh, yeah, it's got to, can't nobody have none of that. And I'm trying to get another box. You better get stunned too because he's talking about getting rid of both of them. I'm just and you know, Kelly. So if you see them on there, snatch them because they might be gone. Yes, tropical florals. That's what he has, a tropical floral accord. Mm, so it's got this beautiful floral, but it, the honey is, you know, like so many things. See you, Veronica. You know, so many of them, you know, when you see honey, usually it's very thick and heavy. This is a light drizzle of honey. I'm telling you, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. I absolutely love it. And the last one. All right, we almost done with this. And then I remember I'm going to shut this one down and then we're going to do a late night later on and just chat and act as ignorant as we want to be. All right, this last one is my new sexy ass jasmine this is jasmineisha by moresque uh, ginger and jasmine that's all i gotta tell you this is ginger and jasmine there's ginger on every level there's ginger in the there's ginger blossom there's ginger on every level you got mandarin orange it's got jasmine orange blossom no neroli sweet notes vanilla white musk ginger amber and woody notes this damn thing is so sweet so spicy gingery and jasmine -y. baby this shit is so good to me this is my but it okay but let me say tell you something though. it does have that kind of soapy vibe on it but once again like expensive hotel so in a, in the most perfect way it's just gorgeous it is sexy, it's, but it's sexy in a very refined, sophisticated, elegant way. So this is a very elegant jasmine. It's not in your face like Alien. Um, Jasmineisha by Moresque. Um, so it's very sexy in one of the most refined, elegant ways you can ever find. It is gorgeous. I love it, but it is kind of soapy you know as it dries down it gets this like slow slightly hotel expensive hotel but you know it just makes me feel like i should be like the girl from ipanema wearing this you know i'm the girl from ipanema where i'm off on the riviera you know with my big glasses and my scarf on looking just fabulous as i ride through the mountains going on my way to riviera so it's very refined and elegant too all right so that is it for the unique summer niche fragrances, niche summer fragrances, how have I put it? Anyway, that's it for this. I am going to end this live. I'm gonna go eat me some dinner. It's 7.53. Honey, I, cause I I love a good hope. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. 
on the late night chat. Remind me to, rem to talk about expensive hotels and my love of them, my love affair with them. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it PG. I'm gonna keep it PG even even though there's a few things I like about expensive hotels. But remind me to tell y'all about somebody. I used to have a little assignation at expensive hotels, five-star hotels, but we'll talk about that later. Okay, then. You all have a great night. I'll be back on around 10-ish so we can have late night chat. So you all have a great night. Go eat some food, drink some water, hydrate, 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 hydrate. And then we'll come back and talk some more. See you later. <laughs>